Hey guys, Scarface Zens here, and today I'm going to show you the new best script for Warzone 4 on the Cronus Zen. This script is completely free and is the best script out there. First, what you want to do is go to the Programmer tab in Zen Studio. Then, scroll down until you see Call of Duty Warzone 4 Beam 2.0. Once you find it, just drag and drop it into any available slot. Click the Save button, plug the Cronus Zen into your console, and follow along with the video. Alright guys, once you've entered Warzone, follow these settings exactly. First, set your horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity to 4. Then, scroll down and make sure controller vibration is turned on and set to 100. Set the trigger effects to full haptics. Now, adjust your dead zone inputs. Set the left stick minimum to 10, left stick maximum to 60, right stick minimum to 10, right stick maximum to 99, L2 to 13, and R2 to 13. Now, I'll show you how to use the script and enable these settings. To open the script, hold down L2 and the Options button. Once you do that, the menu will open. The first option is the button layout. You can click X to enter it and change individual binds, such as your jump button, ADS, crouch, etc. Click circle to exit out when you're done. If you're using a button layout other than the default, use the left or right D-pad to cycle through the options. You'll see choices like Tactical, Lefty, Nomad, and Charlie. I personally use the default layout, so I'll keep it as is. Next is the stick layout. Again, not many people change this, but it needs to match your in-game setting. Click X to enter it and set your response curve, which you can find in your in-game settings. I use dynamic, so I'll use the left and right D-pad to switch to dynamic. Once you've done that, click X to enter the sub-menu, where you can set your dead zone. Set it to whatever you want. I set mine to 5. You can also set your left stick dead zones here. Then, for your ADS sensitivity, I recommend setting both ADS-X and ADS-Y to 62. For hip sensitivity, set it to 42. You can change these values later if you prefer. But this setup works best for me. For parachute X and Y, keep them at 100. Click circle to exit this section and return to the main menu. Next, click down to adjust your FOV. If you use Affected, select Affected. If you use Independent, choose Independent. You can switch between these with the left and right D-pad. Then, click X to set your FOV. I use 120, so I'll set it to 120. Next is Block Rumble. You can choose whether or not your controller vibrates. I personally enable the Block Rumble option by pressing right on the D-pad. Then, for Anti-Recoil, enable it. You'll have two options. Off enemy or on enemy. Off enemy means that while shooting at a wall, there will be no recoil, but while shooting at an enemy, recoil will go slightly upward. On enemy means that while shooting at a wall, your crosshair will pull down, but it will stay stable when shooting at an enemy. Click circle to exit this section. If you're on Xbox, feel free to experiment. On PlayStation 5, make sure to select Automatic PS5 ground loot under the profile section. This will allow the Cronus Zen to automatically detect your weapon and apply zero recoil when you pick up any gun. Click circle to exit out. Next, click down on the D-pad to enable silent aim. This increases your aim assist, which is a huge advantage. Set the aim assist boost controller to three, which is the best setting. Now, for fire mods, you can click X to enter and choose the option that works best for you. I keep it on On Fire. Then click Circle to go back to the menu. Use left or right on the D-pad to adjust your settings. I use Rapid Fire because it's the best option for me. For shot mods, I don't use anything here. But you can explore these options if you like. Under Miscellaneous Mods, I recommend enabling hair triggers. This feature makes the controller register trigger presses immediately, no matter how lightly you press them. This is essential 
for competitive gameplay. You can enable this by pressing right on the D-pad. Once you're done, click circle to save your settings. Okay, now let's jump into the game. If you're on PlayStation 5, hold down the touchpad and square. This enables ground loot mode, which automatically detects your weapons. Now, if you're parachuting, hold down the touchpad and L3 to enable parachute mode. While parachuting, you'll notice that your sensitivity becomes faster. Without parachute mode, the sensitivity is way too slow. Once you land, disable parachute mode, and your sensitivity will be back to normal. All right, now I'll find a gun and show you how everything works. Okay, now I have an Ames 85. As you can see, the Zen hasn't detected what weapon I'm holding yet. But once I shoot the gun, it instantly detects the weapon. Again, when I switch to my pistol, aim it and shoot, it detects what weapon I'm holding. And since it is usually a single fire weapon, the rapid fire feature kicks in. Thank you for watching this video. You can now enjoy the benefits of the Kronos Zen script and get an edge in Warzone 4.